Today we'll be looking at worked examples in electric energy and power. Thanks for tuning in to Kisembo Academy. Let's start with this first example. An electric kettle is rated 2 kilowatts, 240 volts, and when it's filled with cold water, it takes 5 minutes to boil. Calculate the resistance of the element when the kettle is in use. So for us to get the resistance of the element when the kettle is in use, remember we are looking at electric energy and power. So they've given us the voltage, they've given us the power, and they're asking us to find the resistance of the kettle element when it is in use. Now there are a few things that we In our previous videos, on. we derived the three equations of energy and power. Let's try and review them. We saw that we told what we know that power is going to be current times voltage. That is electric power. If we are to change, if we are to substitute the value of I, you will know that I is equal to V over R. If you are to put here V over R, it will mean that power will be equal to V squared over R. Or if we are to substitute for the value of V and we put V is equal to I R, so we substitute this part with I times R, which is current times resistance. Then our formula for current can also be P is equal to I squared times R. We derived these three formula in our previous videos. These are formulas for power. So we're supposed to choose from one of these three to solve this problem. Now from here, they are asking us to find the resistance of the element when the kettle is in use. So it means we shall concern ourselves with formula that have got the element of resistance in them and this is this one or that one. So from this two, which one shall we pick? According to our question, we have power, two kilowatts, so we have power. We have voltage, so we have voltage here, but we do not have any voltage here. So meaning we shall take this because it has power voltage and they're asking us to find the resistance. So we shall use the second one. So here, power is going to be equal to V squared over R. Our power is 2 kilowatts. 2 kilowatts is going to be equal to V squared, which is going to be 240 volts. Divide that by R. When we make R the subject of the formula, it's going to be 240. Divide that by 2 kilowatts, which is equivalent to 2,000 watts. This is 40 volts. So 240, divide that by... Remember, this is squared, right? Yeah, this is squared. 240 squared. 240 squared divided by 2,000 will give us 28.8 .8 ohms. And that will be, or that is, the resistance. That is the resistance. So let's look at Roman 2 of the question. Roman 1, they're asking us to find the resistance of the element when the kettle is in use. Question. So, Roman so they're asking us to find the average weekly cost of using the kettle, assuming that it is used six times each day. So it means that we are supposed to find how many kilowatt hours are spent in this in the in a week because they are asking us to find the average weekly cost so we find the av the kilowatt hours that are used every week after getting the kilowatt hours that are used every week then we can find the cost of those kilowatt hours that are used every week so we begin each day and remember according to our question here they're telling us that it takes five minutes to boil the water right that when filled with cold water it takes five minutes to boil the water so five minutes is the time taken to boil the water. And they're telling us here that they use it six times a day. And when they use it those six times, they put cold water, which is boiled. So we find, so it is going to be, so, so daily use, for us to use it daily. They are going to use it six times and each six times, it's going to take five minutes for that water to boil. So six times five is going to be giving us 30 minutes. So each day it's going to spend 30 minutes and that is going to be 0 0.5 hours. So that is 0 0.5 hours. Now if daily it's going to be 0 0.5 hours, what about weekly? How, how long is it going to be used weekly? So weekly, the weekly usage will be these 0 0.5 hours every day. Multiply by that by the 7 days of the week. And it will give us 
3.5 hours in a week. So we know that the uh, every week this kettle is used for three point three and a half hours every week. But what is the rating of this now? We get the kilowatt hours. What's the rating of this kettle? It is two kilowatts. That is its rating, two kilowatts. So if its rating is two kilowatts, so meaning that the kilowatt hours, the weekly kilowatt hours will be. It is 2 kilowatts, multiply that by the hours it spends running in a week, which is 3.5 hours. That's going to be 3.5 hours. And that's going to give us 7 kilowatt hours. So after getting the 7 kilowatt hours, now we find the costs per week. So the weekly cost will be, um, will be 7 kilowatt hours. Multiply that by the cost per kilowatt hour, which is 300, and it will give us 2100. That is the cost. This per brings us to hour. the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Somebody out there would like to watch this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and share. For more videos, simply subscribe to this channel. Catch you in the next video. For Kisembo Academy, this is Arnold Wangakuramia.